Everyone says, oh, building the wall's just like doing a jigsaw. Well, how many jigsaws have you done without a picture? <laughs> is what I say. My name's Chris Hayes. Um, I am just setting up a business called Devon Heritage Skills. Uh, basically, I've spent most of my life playing around with rocks and stones, uh, building any number of features, walls, etc. And sort of got to the stage in my life where I just want to sort of give something back, really. And I guess I can't keep throwing rocks around for my, all my life. So, what I'm about to do is to basically teach people, um, share some of my knowledge, experiences that I've had over the years, and explain and help people understand the art of dry stone walling, cobbling, various sort of woodland coppicing, hedge laying sort of type things, um, which I think is probably going to be a whole lot of fun to do, um, and hopefully transfer some knowledge forward, you know, for the guys coming forward. Being a stonemason um, is a very sort of broad encompassment really because every wall, every structure, depending on location, um, is entirely different. You know, so 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 to to I guess one of the big skills is is actually to arrive at a site wherever you are. For example, this is the type of stone that's here, so you build a wall with this type of stone and that looks like the type of walls around this area and, and that's very specific to wherever you are so be it a sandstone or a red sandstone or a shillet or a rock or a granite you know depending on type size scenario everywhere's got its different style um, and I guess the biggest skill is just being able to adapt and use you know what you have to hand to, to build whatever you're trying to build. At Devon Heritage Skills what what we're aiming to do basically. Um, I want to get some groups of people out there, hands on, picking up some rocks and actually learning the processes of dry stone walling, cobbling, etc, coppicing, hedge laying, but just to properly understand how a wall is, how it's structured, how it, how it, how it, it has an ability to be there for all these hundreds of years and then literally having being able to like, come on, let's rebuild this wall. You actually get your hands in there, get dirty, and put that wall back. The, the beauty, um, the beauty of dry stone walling is, you know, it, it's totally natural. So, so given even the environment you're creating, I mean, a, a dry stone wall, you know, it harbors all manner of things. You know, from a bird's nest to a slow worm to a mouse. You know, you name it, it's in there for getting all the worms and centipedes and all those kind of things. I mean, and it, it is, you know, essentially um, on Exmoor, for example, um, up on the moors, it is essentially a field boundary. So, so aside from being an ecological haven, you know, it's a natural product, but it's keeping the cows and, and the deer and the ponies from getting into the fields. So it's, you know, it's doing all its jobs. It's, it's a windbreak. One of the most appealing things to me actually is to restore. So something that was put there two, 250 years ago, um, to be able to make that back to how it was and make it look like the day it was born, that's pretty special in my eyes. So it's quite important that they go in. I'm trying to keep to straight to the line. <laughs> Having spent many, many days alone in the wildernesses of Greater Exmoor or wherever building these walls, your mind tends to wander in lots of places and uh, Masons quite often have a little, a little telltale trick. Um, 
a little calling card, shall we say, that um, can be left uh, within the walls. Um, my personal thing, I do actually like to place a bottle in every wall I build. So somewhere, most of you probably would never see it, but somewhere in every wall is a bottle that I've built. Um, I might have even been known to leave my initials in one. <laughs> but um, we won't dwell into that too much. So yeah, it's part of the fun. Gotta have a bit of fun at work, haven't you?